between Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again today. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear? <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me down, but Just it's okay. It sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Nurmagomedov is 31, McGregor is 32. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, 
right, here we go. Round one, Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. How soon do you think your teammate Khabib shoots here? It'll be right away. In the first fight, less than a minute, Khabib was in on his legs. I believe that's the same approach that he needs to take right now. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Keeping busy here in the clinch. Beautiful head kick. Try to establish that jab. Nurmagomedov gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Right, single power tie now. Number three minutes now to go in the round. Connects with a right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights up. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. From, and potentially a critical takedown here. Nice shot to the body there. And follows up with another one. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Got an angle here to try to change the position. He's attacking arm bar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. And you got to cover. You can't be and off this to an might angle. this just be a matter of time. And there it is. He got him. <laughs> yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop in this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get the hit.